So let's first of all look at some of the fruits of modernity and postmodernity. I'm sure most of you, if not all of you, are clear and know these symbols of our age, really. Again, I took a 12-hour journey and then a break and another 10-hour journey at my young age to be here with you and to enjoy the beautiful New Zealand. So there are some fruits of industrialization and modernity that we all benefit and obviously this presentation and the technology is helping us to communicate with that. But here are some of the other fruits of modernity. The low hanging fruits which people enjoy. And here is something else. So, and here are some of the consequences of, or maybe unwanted consequences of some of the outcomes. And I have been here since Tuesday afternoon and I've already noticed that New Zealand is not very far behind in this area of its achievements. This is, again, something from the mother country. Some of you are also familiar with this side of life. Yeah? And then Of course, there's also that side. We forget that how industrialization began and some of the non-industrialized countries, how industries have been moved there and what are the consequences for our planet as well. I hear the some of the human consequences in this way. And again, some of you are familiar that often Asian traditional cuisine and foods are referred to as traditional. And really, are these the traditional Asian foods? <clears throat> and then some of us, with all good intentions, embark upon Islamization of the whole post-industrial uh, products so we put on a label of halal. And here are some of the consequences for some of our people. There's some other figures for you to reflect on in terms of just one area of life. And here is this interesting chart really about the causes of death. There's another way of looking at the same situation. Far as these are concerned, now there is almost total agreement as to what are the causes of what they call Western lifestyle disease or modern diseases, 